make mention also to Community Futures and Clarence Council Development Fund. Uh, they also helped and guided us through our venture, and I'll talk about each one and how they helped us. I'll start with a little bio. We are the Gallery Motel Corporation. It sounds big, but it's not. It consists of a four suite motel. Uh, we have an art and crafts gallery, an antique gallery, and a hot dog stand. Uh, this year we celebrated our fifth year in business. It's three years for the motel and five years for the hot dog stand in the store. Uh, this is my business partner, Roger Thurston. He's also my life partner and my mom, Perleen Shamble. So we're the three uh, executives of the company. We run everything. Uh, we've since lost my father, Frank, uh, without my parents' help since the beginning, uh, we wouldn't be where we are. It's been a constant source of support and encouragement from them. Uh, you always hear people say, without the love and support of people, but ours showed up. Uh, my friend, all, all our friends and family pulled the weeds and hauled garbage and uh, the list goes on and on. Flooring, siding, painting, the building, and all no charge, all for free. Thank God for the friends and family. One thing about starting a business, unless you're born rich or you win the lottery, uh, you pretty much have to beg, borrow, pray, earn, raise, or like us, we keep one eye on the ditch all the time for a bag of money. So hard of luck on that, but we keep looking. We've done everything else though. Uh, we sold the house, we pooled our savings, we got a line of credit, we kicked all the kids out, and then we decided to become entrepreneurs. Uh, first we Googled how to write a business plan. And that's how I first found women entrepreneurs and Linda Crafty. Uh, Roger and I had worked on our business plan for about six months prior to that. We did a little research, we followed the recommended template that they had on the web page. Uh, we worked out the ideal financials, looked very good on paper. I typed it up all nice, and then I emailed it off and made an appointment with Linda. I half expected to walk out with a check that day when we, uh, I went in to see her. I figured I knew everything I needed to know. All that was left to do was build a motel and make money. Uh, my quote from Linda is, well, you're off to a good start, she said when she read my business plan. From that first meeting, I was inspired by her knowledge, her confidence. I wish she was here tonight so I could thank her. Uh, I've always appreciated her interest in our project and women entrepreneurs in our project. They've always helped us by showing us how to help ourselves. We've done lots of the work and they've been there to help us every step of the way. So fast forward, we got our business plan done, uh, almost approved. If, however, we could get approval from other sources of finance as well. So I thought, well, that should be easy enough. We'll go to the bank, they'll finance our, the rest of our loan, we've got our money for women entrepreneurs, piece of cake, nothing left to do but build a motel and make money. No. Every bank we approached uh, told us they don't finance motels or gas stations. Those are the two things they said that we didn't finance. By then, we'd already purchased the property. We'd already spent thousands of dollars on a blueprint, beautiful motel that we never even got to use, and uh, our dream motel. So we had to find another way. We were already in too deep, spent too much money, and had no way out. Back to Google. In our search, we found, well, we did find out that no matter how many people tell you that there are business grants and forgivable loans, and we didn't find any free money. Even though we qualified for certain benefits, such as interest-free loans, uh, free advice and business plan writing, there's requirements and responsibilities that we had to meet. You almost always need your own money. You need your own equity. I think people work much harder when you risk losing your own money instead of someone else's. Uh, then we found in our search community futures, we found George, and we found Clarence Council Development Fund. Both George Bass and Georgette Nicholas, they listened to our dream, they read our business plan, and then they worked with Linda entrepreneurs and worked out a financial plan for us. So we have money from all three places. Uh, owning a business is hard work. It requires 
requires dedication, it requires accountability. These organizations, uh, they want to see that when they commit, they help the youth. Uh, the process for us has taught us lessons in many ways, from handling frustration and disappointment, learning patience, and accepting that just because um, you've had a job in your life that you know how to run a business. That's not the case. I wish I could say that we got all we needed and that the Gallery Motel lived happily ever after, but that wouldn't be true. Uh, we've experienced a dishonest contractor right from the start. We lost a lot of money as a result. Uh, the bank was right. Motels are a risky business. We've gone sometimes three and four months straight without even one rental in our rooms. And we need a lot more than that to make our three loan payments. So it's been very stressful at times. But all three of these organizations have helped us every step of the way. <clears throat> it's been five years for the motel or for the store and uh, three for the motel. Honestly, even now, month to month, we don't know if we can make our payments, if we can make our bills and our loans, but that's okay because in the meantime, we just keep our day job. We keep working. We do what we have to do. We live there and we run things 24 seven, the three of us. Um, our business is also our home. So while we're not making any money, we're still building equity. Uh, we're supporting ourselves. And we love it. And every day, my husband and I drive into our yard and we say, what a cute little motel. <laughs> it's only four suites and it's not even finished, but we love it. <laughs> uh, you've heard people say that he should take his own advice. I'm about to make an example of myself because this is advice that I need to follow. You must take every opportunity to educate yourself with your business. Uh, these organizations that are represented here tonight, they offer all support in classes, referrals, advice on every single aspect of your business. Use it. Even George has coffee row once a month and for networking. There's so many things that you can do. Uh, you need these people to succeed. You don't know what you don't know. And these people know. They know what they what they're supposed to know. And they want to see you succeed. They want us to succeed. Uh, it's good business for them too. For my final comment, I'm going to say that this is the most challenging and stressful time of our lives. Uh, it's tested the strength of our relationship, our commitment to one another and to our business. But I'm so grateful because it's made all of those things stronger. I wouldn't trade this experience for anything in this world. I wouldn't trade it for anything no matter how difficult it's been. That's my sweet success story. Thank you so much. <laughs>